I want to, to address uh, today the, uh, the, the global order, so the globalization process, uh, viewed from the point of view of the developing world. So my, my focus uh, uh, will be uh, on what are the, the let's say, the, the opportunities and the challenges, and particularly, you know, uh, as we will see uh, throughout the lecture, the, uh, some of the major institutional issues that uh, relate, let's say, to the, uh, to the way developing countries uh, fit in the global order. Now, if you, from that perspective, uh, I may start by saying that, you know, in a sense, we have lived through two uh, opposite uh, views uh, of, of this question of development. The, the traditional view, which goes back to, let's say, to David Ricardo, uh, which uh, uh, views, in a sense, the international economy uh, as a, a system in which equal partners uh, relate to each other and specialize uh, according to their you know, comparative advantage as uh, the uh, traditional theory goes. Now there are, in a sense, uh, many versions of, of that. Uh, and you could even say that the very you know, popular book by, by Thomas Friedman, The, the World is Flat, uh, is a, a sort of a view uh, of that sort. And the opposite view, which uh, is, in, you know, to a large extent, the one that I'm going to present today, is uh, rather the view of the international system really as a hierarchical system, as a, a system in which unequal partners uh, relate to each other, and which, of course, from that perspective, poses uh, very uh, specific challenges uh, to the design uh, of, uh, of the architecture.